at the gate. Notice for demolition. In fact, it was a dream. It can't be true. It can't be his building. It can't be. Because yeah, nobody had queried over any discrepancy or over any malfeasance or over any issue. So he ran to the relevant authorities. This is the notice I saw. They said, oh, sorry. We think we presented you there by error. It has nothing to do with you at all. Because you have done nothing wrong. We supervise your building. And the building was such, so attractive that even actors and actresses were coming there to use it as background to act their films in Hollywood. These things can be verified. A week later, on the 14th of May, 2022, contrary to all the assurances given by these agencies, these authorities, he was sleeping on a Saturday with his young family, young wife and children, when they rode in caterpillars, bulldozers, and payloaders, tractors. He came in to say, we are going to demolish. This young man came out with a wife kneeling down, begging, please, you didn't tell us we have done anything wrong, don't demolish. They said, no, we must. Okay, at least let us pack our things away. Let us take our safe that contains gold, that contains money. Let us take our gold trinket. Let us take our valuables, certain relics, certain totems, certain things that are dear to us. Some ancestral beads, army prints. Can you? They said no. They, they, they roared. It was still a vice line. They roared on the building and started pulling down the supporting pillars. They started a mindless, atrocious, unquestionable, bestial demolition of a property without cause. <laughs> Even in the herbaceous state of nature, where life was short, nasty, solitary, and brutish. Even animals still had certain guiding rules, guiding principles. Even madmen and mad women, they have their own rules and regulations. That is why you will not see a goat meeting a dog. Because there are certain rules of nature. You can do that to a citizen of Nigeria up to now as I stand before you. They have not offered a reason as to why they did that. They just felt they could do it and go scot free. Because Nigeria is challenged with multifarious problems. And everybody thinks that we are in, in George Owens um, Animal Farm where anybody and everybody can do what he or she likes. But law, justice may be slow. Justice this time will not allow them to go scot free. That was why we came before this Honorable Court, Justice Abaza, filing two motions, one for interlocutory injunction and one ex parte for interim injunction as prescribed and dictated by the Supreme Court of Nigeria in the case of Odoye versus CBN. And in this ex parte motion, we ask the court to restrain them, make an ex parte order restraining these authorities, whether development control, whether AMAC, whether uh, the Federal Ministry of, uh, 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 um, of uh, Federal Capital, whether but all the agencies that were involved in this ugly incident, restraining them from coming back to complete their demolition score because they promised to come back. They didn't finish the whole demolition. They promised to come back. This young man and his youthful family were thrown onto the streets. Imagine a landlord becoming a tenant in his own country without just coffee. The court listened to him in, a, in, in an application moved in a most emotive, most emotional manner. And the court granted all we asked for. Restraining all the authorities from forcefully taking over jet and waste by force of arms with a multitude of people, fully armed policemen and soldiers, from taking that property from this young man or completing their demolition exercise which they had ingloriously commenced on the 7th, on the 14th of June of May, 2022. And the court granted our request.
that's a journey matter to Friday the twenty twenty the twenty the fifteenth of July for hearing of the motion on notice. So we are going to serve all the relevant parties, all the papers, so that they can come and respond to this court. Why they will do that which they have done. At the end of the day, we are claiming over two billion naira representing damages. Some of the things that were carted away, they were captured on on video carrying away some properties. So where there is a wrong, there must be a remedy. Who be just the remedy? By God's grace, we will have remedy to this cause. Thank you.